Welcome to another official Infinite Discs review. Today, despite the 17 degree temperatures outside, we are going to go throw a new Innova Bullfrog. Luckily, it's in uh, XT plastic, so it'll be uh, pretty grippy out in the cold. Um, it's a new putter from Innova that uh, doesn't have a whole lot of glide. The, the numbers are 3101. I'm really curious about that to see if we notice it not gliding because that seems like like no glide like yeah. it doesn't even throw so it's got a beaded bottom kind of like the the whale and like a flat top like the avr3 yep i i love the fill of the xt plastic especially in the cold yeah, we'll see how it works for my putting but I, I i put with the myth and the bottom of this feels exactly like the myth the top is it's a it's a, not as deep and yeah. the top is completely flat so i think it'll work good as a throwing putter and uh i like it for putting as well Feels pretty good for forehand too, so we'll give it a shot. All right, we've made it out here to our local testing grounds where we did the tomb review, but now it is winter instead of uh, fall. And instead of the tomb, it's, it's with the, the Innova Bullfrog, Bullfrog yeah. which is a, kind of a similar disc as in they're both kind of uh, shallow putters, but they, they really fly differently. Okay, that throw there, you could see, I thought that was just right, I was gonna park it, but I'm 40 feet short, and then my putt? Didn't even come close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, it might also be the 17 degree temperatures that True. didn't help. But no, yep. the the disc in the cold was really stiff, which it doesn't feel like that inside. So um, that's something to consider with the poor throwing by one of us. Yeah, especially on this hole because this being the hardest hole on the course, I didn't even put it very close. 166 feet. So here I am trying to forehand. I kind of flipped up and stayed left on me, but you know, mostly a pretty straight flight. Yep. Uh, from a putt from Circle's Edge, yeah, that he, one. Yeah, uh, looks like he tried to didn't work. I, I really, make up for that low glide. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I, I like the feel of the feel of it for a putter. It just uh, did, didn't work for me this day. Yeah, I feel like my putt has a little more speed than Allen's, so I don't have to have as much glide on my putter to keep it up. That uh, is probably a good assessment. That is a great shot there. Yeah, that worked out. I feel like I had enough power on it to where it didn't have a whole lot of fade. So I, I was able to just aim straight at the pin. forehand again. You can't really see the flight here, but uh, it's it turned over, turned left, and stayed left. And here yeah. I am putting from the cattails. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty close here. I'm glad that Alan turned his back yeah. so I could putt here and you know feel. One thing that really bugs me in tournaments is when you're just going to putt and then people do stuff like that. Because then I actually think about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, great. Yeah, look at this review. Woo. As Great you can putt. see, the XT plastic, even when it's 14 degrees outside, sticks to chains. All right, I'm giving in this a forehand here. Let go. Oh, going, going, going. Let go of it pretty flat. Oh. Ooh. And it still faded. So, like, I feel like it has at least one fade. Yeah. Uh, her back. I thought that was about right, but. Oh. And again, another low shot that just went into the ground. Well short. But look at this. Ooh. Yeah, who got the birdie now? Look how happy he is. He's on the boards. And here I go with a, uh, a miss. Uh, I am not very satisfied with that, obviously. So how do you like the, the bull frog for forehand throws? I felt like it felt pretty good. It feels really similar to the, the AVR3, AVRX3 that I usually throw. So I, I felt like it was pretty comfortable for my, my forehand. Okay, this is a longer hole, about 270. I put everything I had on it, a little still pretty, hyzer. It, still pretty low, Yeah, but it, it, it went far enough for I, the, the pin. It just uh, stayed right. I was expecting it to fade back a little more. I ended up a little short, but I felt like I had the control. Right on line and chalk up another miss putt with <laughs> bullfrog for me. I'm close enough where it doesn't matter what putter I'm using. I should probably make it. Even with a wobbly putt, it went in. All right, this hole I decided to throw a turnover just to show the flight, and it didn't entirely come out. It no. kind of held the, the turnover. held pretty good. It, the throw looked like it had enough power to me, but it was uh, well short again. And that was another throw straight into the ground, which may have yeah. been the cold. Maybe the shape of the bullfrog just doesn't like my hand. Yeah, and you, you may have gotten a little more distance with another disc, too. I, I think it really doesn't have that much glide. I think so. And that putt showed it too. Mm, yep. 
chalking up this hole to the one glide. Okay, let's see if I can make an outside the circle putt. And he threw no. it too high. Why did you throw it too high? Well, I was trying to make up for the lack of glide, and, okay. and uh, it just didn't work out. Overcompensated. All right, Alan's going to throw a spin putt here. Looks like those throw pretty well, right? <laughs> yeah, from five feet, I can, I can hit those nine out of eight times. All right, going forehand again. This hole shapes up really well for it. I got a very clean release. I think it ended up a little short, but it it, it faded out. So I trying the forehand too. Oh, once again, I turned over a little bit on me, and uh, didn't go very far. But look at this approach shot. Yeah, a little forehand approach. How do you like them for that? No, I do. I like it a lot. You know, I use the tomb for that shot all the time, and it it really is a pretty similar feel to the infinite discs tomb. I agree. And uh, yeah, that, that putt ended up going in, which I was very happy with. So and uh, I made my <laughs> tap in too <laughs> for my there. par. Here's the second hardest hole on the course. You can tell by uh, how far away my disc landed. <laughs> yeah, here here I go. Two, 210 is a hard distance. I thought, you know, just go nice and straight right to the basket, but and instead he's I over by me. faded out and well short. Yeah, this jump putt, I... I usually put quite a bit of spin, and it didn't even stay high enough to, to give it a run. Yeah, that one, that one I tried, I think, putting a little Anheuser putt on it, but still filled. But we can we can work together and yep. accomplish yeah. our Go team goal infinite. of parring a 210-foot hole. This one I trusted over the OB to fade back, and it did. So And it looked so good coming from you, I thought I'd try the same thing. So threw it. Oh, felt good. Looked good. A little bit short. short. Yeah, I feel so, like that's the that's what your throws were. Yeah, the story of the the bullfrog is that if you want a disc that's not going to glide a lot, this is it. Yeah, it's, it's probably good for wind for keeping you from you know if you have your form where you like putting your normal power on but you don't want it to go as far. That and too with the uh, with your putting, if you are scared of it going too far past the basket, this is a good one because it doesn't seem to want to go very far past the basket if you miss. Definitely. Okay, our official score after the round, uh, I shot, what, a 792 infinite rating Ooh, and uh, about hot. a 930 for you for cold conditions with only one disc. the bullfrog. I think I do like the yeah. bullfrog overall. Yeah, and the XT plastic feels great. It was decent compared to other plastics in the cold. And uh, I don't know, I felt like the flight numbers were, were pretty dang accurate. Yep, I agree. Mm. At first, I, my initial thought was a glide of one. It's more than that, but I can't think of any disc that has less glide, so I think one is, is indeed accurate. Yeah. Yep, I would agree. Well, thanks for uh, watching this uh, review of the Bullfrog. And buy your Bullfrogs at infinitediscs.com.